Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that you randomly surveyed the students of your school to know whether they themselves iron their uniform or not. And you got the following results. In grade 6, 10 iron themselves and 19 do not. Grade 7, 16 iron themselves and 12 do not. Grade 8, 28 iron themselves and 5 do not. Now construct the two-way table for the given data. In the second part, for each grade level, what percent of students iron their uniform themselves and do not iron their uniform themselves? Then in the third part, does the table in the second part show a relationship between the grade level and number of students ironing their uniform themselves? Explain. Now let us start with the solution of this question. Now we are given the data of the survey conducted in the school to know whether the students themselves iron their uniform or not. Now first of all, we have to construct the two-way table for the given data. Now we are given number of students of grade 6, 7 and 8 who iron their uniform themselves and those who do not iron themselves. So here in this two-way table, we take the grades in columns and number of students who iron themselves or not in rows. Now we will fill the cells with given frequencies. Now in grade 6, 10 iron themselves and 19 do not. In grade 7, 16 iron themselves and 12 do not. And in grade 8, 28 iron themselves and 5 do not. So we have written all the frequencies. And now we will write total of each row and column. Now let us take the total of first column which is 29, then for the second column it is 16 plus 12 which is 28, then for the third column it is 33. Now the total of all the frequencies in first row is 54 and in second row it is 36. Now 54 plus 36 is equal to 90 and 29 plus 28 plus 33 is again 90. Now in the second part for each grade level we have to find that what percent of students iron their uniform themselves and what percent do not iron the uniform themselves. Now grade is given so we will find column relative frequency multiplied by 100 which will give us the required percentage. Now for the number of students who iron themselves in grade 6, percentage is equal to number of students who iron themselves in grade 6, which is 10, upon total number of students in grade 6, which is 29, into 100 and this is equal to 34 percent approximately. So in cell 1 we will write 34 percent. Now for the number of students who do not iron themselves in grade 6 percentage is equal to 19 upon 29 into 100 which is equal to 66 percent approximately. So in this cell we will write 66 percent. Now in grade 7 percentage of students who iron themselves is equal to 
number of students who iron themselves in grade 7 upon total number of students in 200. So this is equal to 16 upon 28 in 200. Now 2 into 8 is 16 and 2 into 14 is 28. 2 into 4 is 8 and 2 into 7 is 14. So this is equal to 400 upon 7 percent. Now this is equal to 57 percent approximately. Now here we will write 57 percent. Now percentage of students in grade 7 who do not iron themselves is equal to 12 upon 28 into 100. Now 2 into 6 is 12 and 2 into 14 is 28. 2 into 3 is 6 and 2 into 7 is 14. So this is equal to 300 upon 7 percent which is equal to 43 percent approximately. Now here we will write 43 percent. Now in grade 8 percentage of students who iron themselves is equal to 28 upon 33 in 200 and this is equal to 85 percent approximately. So here we will write 85 percent. Now percentage of students who do not iron themselves in grade 8 is equal to 5 upon 33 in 200 which is equal to 15 percent approximately. So here we will write 15 percent. So here we obtain this relative frequency table. Now in the third part we have to tell whether there exists a relationship between grade level and number of students ironing their uniform themselves. Now in this table which we have obtained in second part we can see that percentage of students who iron uniform themselves increases with each grade level. So the students in higher grade are more likely to iron their uniform themselves. And this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.